Hello, everybody, and thank you so much for spending time with me again today on Inner Views. Today, I am very excited because I am speaking to Rivka, and uh, she has a fantastic mm -hmm. Facebook community. And I'm going to let her tell you her story and how she came to have a Facebook community. So over to you. Okay. So, yes. Yeah, so, um... Basically, I had a friend who had um, celiac, and I used to send her recipes and, you know, try and help her out. Um, I used to cook and bake a lot, and one day I thought, I'm going to just put it in a group, and that way I'll be able to, like, put it in a place where I'll be able to access it, you know? Okay. On, you know, over time. Yes. And from there, it sort of grew. It really blew up, and... Um, today we have 55,500 members, over 100 members joining a day, very high engagement, and um, I am working on, you know, bringing in things, you know, more value to the community, um, bringing it to sustainability. Um, there's many things, you know, that I've been, you know, working on behind the scenes, a lot of work to get it there and get it done. And this is sort of like, in line with many things that I've also done before, a lot of things that I've done in service to the community when there was a challenge, um, you know, you know, I went through infertility, I created a community around that. This is the first time I've done it in this format. So, and that's a whole different format and I'm still learning, even though I have my runaway train that I call it, <laughs> it keeps growing and it's running away, but um, I'm trying to like, keep it in check and figure out one of the parts, how to do it, how to bring it and how to um, create even more. And, you know, with, with the group um, itself and more causes that I would like to, you know, further and become more involved with once, you know, I take those steps to, you know, um, sustain this one. So okay. that's a little bit of the story in short. I, I absolutely love that. So you, you kind of started, if I understand, using the group as a little file where you could keep things to find them easily. Yeah, I mean, like five years ago, I was like, I, I don't know, I'm like, you know, I'm sending on WhatsApp and sending in a message and then like, where does it go? And I'm like, oh, I put it in here. This, will, this is what will happen. Um, I didn't really know what that really meant. And then from there, it just like, there was lots of interest. First, I started as recipes. Then I saw people supported each other. I called it support. And now we call it, you know, lifestyle and support because the support is really one of the main things, but it's a whole, you know, people getting diagnosed, coming to it and having to adapt and change their whole lifestyle is, you know, part of the bigger picture. The recipes, sometimes, you know, those things are the details, but this is the bigger picture of what, you know, where it's going and what they're trying to do and we're trying to do. Yes. So, so do you think the, the, the rapid growth of your group, group has anything to do with the fact that there are so many people who've, who are finding that their, their bodies aren't coping with the food we're eating these days? Yes, I would say like today there's a lot of awareness and health and wellness is very forefront. And this is something that people didn't know for many years. So there's a big, you know, um, you know, in the age range, I mean, we do have mostly women, um, let's say from 25 to like 54 officially, but there's, you know, many people who are caretakers and caregivers, but um, I think there's much more awareness and this is something that's really serious and prevalent. And yes, you know, there's three all kinds of reasons, you know, the food supply chain and how, you know, we're not living on the farm anymore, but, um, and, you know, there's, there's many reasons, but um, there is a big, um, need and there is a big also market and this is you know sort of like a culmination of things that people are dealing with today and the access to this kind of format which really lends itself to um, making an impact and helping these people. Why do, why do you feel this format works better than others that you've tried? Okay well um, I don't know if it, it was sort of like I don't know if I would say like better, I think just different. I think in the past when the internet wasn't so big, you know, there was, there was a few different kinds of things that I was involved with. I left my insular community, became part of an organization. 
that was more traditional of like a nonprofit support groups. We would go in person. The same thing with, let's say, the fertility. And then I started doing online also because it was available. Um, but I think like throughout COVID and just in general, like people from all over, this is a good platform to do it in. And the Facebook one is like where they go, they have support, they discuss. Um, so it's just like another way and another format of doing it. I think there, there probably still is the traditional way too, but I think this way does have impact, does give more availability, reaches more people. And that's sort of how it um, came together. Sort of like, you know, most people um, create things around their area of interest. Yes. Um, for me, it's sort of like, I always wanted to help people and I always did. And this is sort of what came, like the latest one that came out of it. And it grew to a, you know to a big you know place so that's sort of how that came about yeah i absolutely love it because um it sounds like it grew out of a genuine need yes and that's always a great place to grow from yes for sure so once I, you know i didn't really know many things about it in the beginning i mean generally you know there were people in the community and different people that i met but i think as time went on now you know much more about it you know and there's you know there's like health journey which i definitely relate to there's a mental health journey that i definitely you know mindset um i might not be per se them but i understand them on different levels and also maybe being more objective i could advocate for them and be their ally so i think that's you know the pluses and minuses that you know come into play in that realm yeah so, so, so you, you don't actually uh, follow the same diet. That your <laughs> so, I, <laughs> so I actually um, do not. There are things that I eat that, you know, are gluten-free. It is healthier for you. But um, yeah, this is the big uh, little bit of the pink elephant. But um, I am not actually, you know, diagnosed or per se strictly gluten-free. Okay. But um, I do, un you know, understand the benefits. I do understand, you know, the implications. And I do definitely um, spend a lot of time advocating for that community. Yeah. So, you know, there, there's two sides of it. Of like, like I said, I'm not exactly that. But I do relate to many of the things that they, they struggle with. And on the other hand, you know, I am an ally and advocate. And, and I'm a little, I think it puts me in a position of being a little bit more objective. I'm yes. not quite yes. Yes. in there so yeah yes. absolutely absolutely when all of the others are emotionally triggered you're still calm <laughs> yeah but most of the time <laughs> <laughs> yeah you know listen it's a very hard thing but I'm saying like you know within the group construct it's like sometimes people are like ah and I'm like oh my we have to like put out that fire but yeah <laughs> I mean it, it's a very it's a, it is a, I understand the seriousness of it and there's mm. I always think in life there's always solutions and that's that's the perspective that I come from there's always a way to help there's always something to check out there's always a, a solution and that, that's what we have to go for. And that's really like the main mission is to bring them to their lifestyle where they could, they have optimal health. Like they come in, they really don't know what to do. And then hopefully we will, you know, take them on a journey where they get to like, you know, the ultimate goal. Like the person that I started it for is actually at that place where in the beginning she needed a lot of help to figure it out. And now she's okay. like, she's sort of like figured it out and she's good. So, okay. Okay. so, that, so there is, there's, yeah, there's, there's, there's hope down the road. I mean, it's, it's a, it's very big and overwhelming and you're really changing a lot of things, yes. but there's ways to do it. And hopefully we help them along the way. I mean, that's the goal. So I'm getting goosebumps right here where I'm sitting. You set <laughs> out to help one person and you've succeeded in helping 55,000. <laughs> plus yes we're up to 50 55,500 oh, wow. plus yes because and, many of them uh, are caregivers yeah I would say like either they have themselves or they're like parents grandparents aunts uncles you know fathers you know that are taking care of their cousin their friend you know they're all connected in some way they want to know more I mean that's most of them there's some people want to do it for their own health some people don't have a diagnosis per se so there's all really all different kinds but people really 
get a lot of benefit out of it, even professionals and some kind, I, I heard doctors and other medical professionals we recommend <laughs> that they oh, join. Classic. Yeah. And um, so there's really like, there's a whole spectrum, but like the main core are, you know, women of, you know, caregiving age that really, you know, want to know more, want to invest, want to figure this out and help, you know, their loved ones, mm-hmm. you know, figure it out. So, yeah. So, so um, I'm just thinking, so you, you, you're talking about a lifestyle change towards better health. Yes, that's basically what it is, yeah. Do you often get questions that are, are medical, medically rooted? And then what? how do you cope with that in that environment? Because you're not a doctor and you can't give advice. Yes, yes. So basically, um, at this point, we, you know, you have to be careful. I'm, I'm the main the admin and one of the main moderators, which is something I'm also working on. Um, but basically, yeah, I have to I have to see like how that works out. And that's why also part of the goals, we're having a speaker series coming up. That's something that we're working on. And part of the goals is to bring other people on board who have, um, you know, professional backgrounds, who know those things better. Um, that's, that's one way. Another way is we do have um, like a membership where people who are experts who come in there and bring value to the community. We're trying to grow that too. We're trying to find different ways to bring in people with knowledge mm-hmm. and to, like I said, the goal of getting, you know, sponsorships and things like that to help with the sustainab- sustainability of the group. Because I, I don't think some days I even realize the scope of what this takes. I think people don't <laughs> realize, but they're like, it's all free. And I'm like, this is a full-time plus 20% job. <laughs> That right now I'm a volunteer, mm. but in order to bring it, you know, to mm. to really next level, it needs, you know, funding. Let's say like it is, it needs um, sustainability, like I said. Um, and once we get to that part to even bring even more, it needs other things. And I really want to build it, you know, all the way out and bring those people that are professionals, bring those people that are experts um, and have this be you know a happening group where there's fun things i mean i follow your group i'm like well i'm like i think i want to start to taking cloths and doing stuff <laughs> but um and i'm like I'm, I'm aiming to do that i don't know how you do all those things but um but basically i'm like i want to be i want to bring more i want to do more um and sometimes a little frustrating like you know but i uh, i plan on you know i I have done different things to get to that place and to do that. So, you know, I'm working on that aspect. I'm working on also the Facebook aspect of understanding more about them and how they work. And it's just, it, it's a, it's a lot of things in a big project and mm-hmm. I want to get there. And I also look for possibly, you know, organizations, companies, you know, individuals that know that could maybe help with that, um, you know, donate their time, you know, point me in directions of how I could go about and do this. And that's sort of what I'm working on, you know, okay. very specifically at this point. Yeah. Okay. So, so you're looking for contributors very specifically. Yes. At this point, we, yeah, at this point I am at this point, I'm looking, you know, for sponsorships either okay. from people that, that will benefit from putting, you know, their input in there. Um, we also want to, you know, create products that will service the people that are coming in into the community do it that way you know brand um brand collabs partnerships um any ways that we could figure you know figure figure this out and get it um going and also give opportunity for people to be partners a lot of it i think will be you know partnerships and that's really the main thing that i'm working on now while still trying to like maintain the group keep its integrity it's, it's a big it's a big big juggle of like yeah how, how to do all those things and also get a team on board um to help that mm. what that whatever that looks like and each one is a big project in and of itself I'm you know, looking to bring on possibly I'm in the works of bringing in a partner that you also um hopefully will help and you know that's I, I need, we need to get, you know, like, it's like we have the big building and we're like the train, like I said, and it's, it's running like 90 miles an hour and we're like, but well, we need like, you know, the coal, we need to start digging the coal. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, so yeah. that's sort of where it's at. So I, I, I feel very encouraged on the level of we're getting people, we're doing things, 
it keeps growing. There's definitely interest. It's just like the other parts I'm trying to figure out and not get like overwhelmed by that. But, you know, that's where it's going. I think at the end of the day, the end user is definitely getting, you know, help benefits from it. Um, but in order to bring it to next level, um, you know, this is what we have to put in place. So that's the goal right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, so you're saying it's it's like a runaway train. So give us an idea. How fast does this train run away? How old is yeah. it and, and how fast has it grown? It has a, so basically at this point, um, I think, you know, it's an algorithm. It's up and down. But I think even like just from today, I'm saying that we used to get upwards of 100 people a day. Now it's even going more than that. Wow. Um, we have like 84% engagement last time, you know, we looked. Wow. Uh, yeah, there's there's a lot going on in there. That's that's the parts that I feel like you know encouraged by. You can it's, teach it's me really about just, engagement. <laughs> How are you doing right? that? <laughs> so basically, at this point, truthfully, I mean, I try to put myself in there. We try to do things, but really, right now, mostly they they talk to each other, they engage with each other, they learn from each other, and this is something that I'm very familiar with because that's something that I've done, always done, and continue to do. Um, so that's that's really like you know, but there's still like lots of interest um, on that level to to bring it to different levels where we're providing, we're offering, and that's what I'm starting to do. We have a speaker series coming up um, September 9th. Um, it, that's what we're starting to try and roll out to make it a little bit more, like bring people in, make it more organized, make make the journey of things that how people could help themselves, what they could do by bringing in others, by bringing them products and services that will help them so that that's where we're headed to but for now it's just like it, it sort of like a little bit runs itself I mean I can't say 100 to a certain degree I have to keep it in check because like I'm the teacher the policeman the, the the everything and then we have to develop it you know like I said most people they develop it as it grows they have they do it with like a specific intention for me it's like it just kept on growing at each stage. It took me a long time to even figure this part out. Yes. But that's why like I, I research, I put myself out there. I speak to different people. I make them a little nuts, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, re I, I reach out to people who I think like, you have this, what are you doing? Tell yes. me, tell me. Yes. Um, because there's not a direct way. I think that's something that also like, I wanna understand more about and understand why there's not really, and I feel like there really should be, and there should be more support on that level. Um, but I'm, I'm working with it. That's why I say there's two tracks of trying to figure out the, the group and trying to figure out like the platform that we were provided and how exactly that works and what's really available and stuff like that. Because yes. right now I just see yes. certain things and I just don't have a full understanding, but I'm, I'm looking to see and understand. So, yeah. So I think part of the challenge yeah. is that we don't have roadmaps yet. Yeah. Most groups are only just beginning to monetize. You know, yeah. you'll find that the groups that are already monetized are ones that have existing brands that are monetized and then put, added a group to that existing monetization, like a Tony Robbins or something like that. A hundred percent, yes. So your average so your average person with a group ended up with a group in much the same way you and I did, where we, we had an idea, yes. we put it on Facebook and, and next thing we had all these people we had to deal with. Yes. And yes. in fact... I'm almost thinking that in the days when I created the group, I didn't even understand the difference between a group and a page structure. Yeah. So I and was I, very lucky I ended up with the group because if I'd set yes. up the page, the same thing would not have happened. Yeah. So that's the thing for me. I always, the group was always a thing because that's how I always did it. I always did like, you know, therapy, group therapy, support group. Mm. Um, the page came later. I do have a page. I do have Instagram, but each thing needs like, a, you know, development in its own. Mm. Um, and I know that supported it. So that I did have like some idea, but for me, yeah, the original thing was the group. Cause I'm like, that's what we're going to put in there. And once it grew, I'm like, that's where the conversations are going. So it's very apropos to what we're doing and how we're doing it and what I've done. Mm. The, 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 the basic, the question, the longevity, like the success of it is the sustainability. And that's, that's the part that, you know, a lot of us are at. Yeah. So yes. Yes. we're at, <laughs> yeah. And, and well, I think, I think it's a positive that will continue growing. It just, we have to figure out the middle part. So that's why. Yes. Yeah. yes. Yes. Yeah. 
I, I really think that you, your recipe book idea could be developed out more. Yes, a hundred percent. So I did, I did put out a, um, a recipe book. I do have two eBooks. Yeah. Um, there's probably many more things that I could do and put out. Um, these are recipes um, that I've adapted and um, I've put out there and there are many great ones. My actually current moderator is a blogger with lots of great recipes that she's trying out. So yeah, there's, there's lot for sure. There's lots of opportunity there That's too. Good. But what I find is each thing needs a knowledge, know-how strategy. Yes. It needs a whole thing that I don't know exactly how to do. And yes. that's why I'm trying to find the right person either to bring on board and trying to figure that out. That's what I've been trying to figure out for, for a while. And just also within the Facebook framework of itself, understanding how the platform works to a level where you have that, you know, you have that visibility, you have that traction, you have that, you know, input. So it's like on one level, it's it's developed a certain degree. On the other level, I have to go back to basics to understand. And that's what I'm trying to to really navigate and understand how it works. Because this is not something I was trained in. This is not something, you know, this is something I discovered down the road. It's in check with things that I've done, but not in this format. So we're sort of starting from like the ABCs while, you know, it's still running away. I mean, it's running somewhere. <laughs> It's running to good places. Yeah. So the, the the Facebook blueprint certification is the very first proper certification for the industry. So so yeah. that, that's why there's no real uh you know, this is how you do it and and that everybody knows and is is already mapped out. It's because uh you know, it's, yeah. a, it's an emerging industry and it's only now beginning to take shape and exactly. niche and decide who it is. Exactly. So that's what I tell people because people tell me, it's not a career, it's not a this, it's not a, and I'm like, it is. And it's a new and emerging field. I say the same thing. But for me, it's like, how can we fast forward this process? <laughs> But yes, I do recognize that it is new and emerging field and I'm going with it. And that's, and that's why I have hope on many levels. I know at the end of the day, I'm doing something good. I know at the end of the day, it's helping people right now, this minute, every day, every second. Mm -hmm. um, the other side of it, I'm trying to still, you know, figure that those parts out and stay like encouraged on that journey to like, to figure it out. But I do recognize that it is, and I'm hopeful. I, that's why I, I, I check around, I research, I see what's going on. And I'm like, oh, this is happening. That's happening. And I'm like, we're, we're going to get there. Well, we don't know. <laughs> yeah. I, I think you're so. doing a fantastic job. Uh, okay. I had to yeah. ask for help and start building my admin team at 20,000 members. Okay. So exactly. So I think right now I'm at 55 plus, and that's also where I'm, I'm definitely, that's one of the parts that I'm also Pretty trying good. to figure out of, who goes how they go I've had people along the way and everybody who's helped me I totally you know for sure appreciate it but it's time to like build it more formally so we could mm -hmm. you know we could get it going but that's you know and it takes time to even figure out that and you're saying like that's funny I know that's why I speak to other people like you know sometimes I think let's do like let's do a a, a post <laughs> like, <laughs> how did you start how long till you got to hear? How long till you got to? I also had this idea once that I still have in the back of my head, but I'm like, I don't know if I could take on another group. Mm -hmm. Is and I had this idea a long time ago of like making a group where like people come in there and that's what we discuss. What have you done? Have you done it? How have you gotten there? I still yeah. have that idea. I haven't quite done it because I'm like, okay. I don't know if I could take on it. Because I know now I know what a group takes. Yeah. So I'm like, I don't know if I can, but it's in the back of my mind. It's an idea. Okay. okay. <laughs> So, so yeah. now that you know, would you would you be more cautious about creating a group, just creating one for fun again? Yeah, so that that's that's basically what I'm saying. Like to a certain degree, yeah, because it, it's a full, it's a really full time job, and it does cost you in time and money. I mean, you know what I'm saying. So it's like I have that idea. I would love to do it some days. I'm very tempted. I might just one day. But at this point, it's like, it, it takes really, it's like really a, a, a huge project. So mm -hmm. I don't know if I'd run and like, I'm hesitant because until I figure out how to sustain this one, how could I create another one? And I'm only one person, you know, I only found out like 
a minute ago that like somebody said, you know, one of these Padman groups or whatever it is that you need one moderator per 5,000 people. So I'm like, I'm missing 10 moderators. <laughs> how many, how many admins do I actually like all these basic things that I'm not quite this sure. Point in time, I'm also short if that's the count. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't really know what it is, but it's like, how do you find them? How do you vet them? How do you do them right now? It's just like, I have to look at it two ways. One, there's lots to do. And one, many, many things that I figured out myself how to do and I have to give myself credit for it. So absolutely, <coughs> absolutely, yeah. absolutely. You must. And this is without knowing. Because, because get your 55,000 without it imploding, you have to know something. I promise you. <laughs> it's good. And I see what people like you tell me. I'm like, wow, because I don't know. I didn't even think about that. Like there are things that like other people tell me, like you've told me in the past also. And I'm like, really? I never even thought of that. So I'm like, oh, it just goes and you just do. And people are like, what's the big deal? And now I'm like, um, I'm about to figure out the big deal. One of one of the guys in the learning group that uh, Facebook has for the Sub-Saharan Africa um, community managers yeah. always reminds us that we're actually in charge of a small city. You're the mayor of a small yes. town. You know, I think I think you told me it was, uh, or my my future hopefully to be partner told me that also. They never thought like when they when people told me these things, I'm like, wow. It, it gives, it's very important for me because it gives me perspective mm. and then I understand more and I never thought about that and I'm like yes, so I'm the fireman the policeman the teacher the, and I'm like you know we got we got to delegate a little we got to figure this out because I'm like I can't be on call 24 7 and, and I don't have a budget yet so what are we going to do <laughs> so yeah so for sure yeah I recognize that yeah so what is your favorite thing about being a community manager? What gets mm -hmm. you out of bed and to turn your computer on in the morning? Uh, so I'm a, I'm a very much a people's person. And every time I have a good connection with people, that's really my thing. Okay. I have a good connection with like people in the group where I have good feedback. Some days when I'm feeling like discouraged, I'm like, okay, I'm going to just put a little question. Like, what did you get out of this? And then you know, there's, good, <laughs> there's good feedback. And then just connecting with people that are connected to this. I meet new people. I, I that's, that's the parts that I like. And I know that it's, it's doing good things. It's helping people. I, I see it, you know, and I know how it feels because I've been through, you know, but a lot of things in my life and, and, you know, the kindness of strangers or the, kindness of like you know a community or like-minded people is a big deal so that's really what motivates me that's what motivated me and all the other things that I did that I still want to do I have this dream I'm going to have a foundation like Bill Gates and we're going to just <laughs> save everybody first we had, that's what I realized over time first I have to save myself but we're going to save the world so yeah so those are the things like that's what I'm really good at that's what I really like and I'm like if if, if I could figure out how to sustain this and sustain myself this will be the best job in the world and at this point I'm not really willing to do any other <laughs> job but I'm like this one's gonna work but um then I'll have that like monkey off my back but it's something that I would like and then I would like to you know I would like to bring it further and I would like to understand more of it and I would like to understand different aspects of it and make it yes make it more of a career make it more of like what else could I do where else can I go you know how can I do this so okay. It's it's good. I think it's it, it's good it's good stuff all around, and I'm also in a way thankful that I had this opportunity because I you know I've been in different positions in my life, and I, I'm still like a little bit in the corner. But th this was an opportunity that I never even thought about that came to be. So there's two sides to it. You know, I'm giving to it. It's giving to me, and it's giving me the opportunity. So I appreciate it on that level too. Yeah. So so this is not what you expected to be doing at this time in your life. No, but you know what, when I, I didn't realize, but when I thought about it, everything, yeah, I know everything, but everything that I've done before has sort of led to it. And it is a good place and a good thing, more in alignment with doing, you know, being a cog in the machine, as I call it, and, you know, it, it's self-determined and self-motivated and, you know, doing all that. And that's a really an important piece that has to do with, you know, things that I've learned over time, the situation that I'm in, things that I've learned about myself. Um, and it's sort of aligned more with it. So that's why I said on, on certain levels, like, I think it's great and I'm appreciative of it that I, you know, I really got that opportunity. I'm just impatient <laughs> to get to that next step. And that some days drives me crazy. <laughs> <laughs> 
but otherwise I'm like, <laughs> this is the best job I've ever had. <laughs> so yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, it's so wonderful. It's a journey. It's a journey, right? It's, a yeah. journey. it's always awesome yeah. hearing community managers saying it's the best job they've ever had. Uh, sure. it, is, it is the one thing that seems to be like a common thread with us is, is we all really yeah. enjoy it, that part of the work. Yeah. I love, I love the people. I love the things, the content, following the other people. I could, I live in it all day. It's like, you just do that all day. And I'm like, yeah, now it's going to pay off. <laughs> no, but, um, <laughs> but I mean, in, you know, in, in many different ways, but I'm just saying like, there's just something about it. Like even before this, it's like when I was involved in the other causes I was part of, that's where I went into. That's how you crowdsource. That's how you do it. That's where you go. This one happened to take on, you know, a life of its own. And there's other factors that I'm, I'm fortunate because I've, I've started, I do have other groups that I'm part of that I was admin of, or I tried to start and things like that. And they didn't quite take off like, like this one. So it, 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 understanding the mysteries of this is, I don't know, I think it's going to take a while, but still, you know, the ones that do go and, and the things that you can impact and the things that you can start with and build yourself up with are still have lots of value. And that's where I'm going. That's what I'm doing. And um, you never know. I'm on a lake. I want to save the world. <laughs> We're going to save the world. Yeah. Well, your story has been very inspiring. And uh, you know that I certainly feel the same about saving the world. So um, yes. I, I think community management does attract the save the world types. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and I see we're running out of time. So uh yeah. For all of you watching, I will be adding all of the details for this wonderful group in the description of the video below. So don't worry about it. There will be clickable links in the in the description of the video. Uh, so Rivka, any parting comments for anybody who's thinking about becoming a community manager? A manager. Um, it's a good question. It's definitely good. It's definitely rewarding. Um, educate yourself. Try to um, just be aware of the level of involvement that it takes. Um, you know, I don't even know the degree of like, you know, what it really takes to do that. I think, I think it's, it's, it's a great thing. It's, I mean, this is for, you know, where I'm coming from, it's a great platform, lots of, lots of great things. Just be aware of, you know, and research of how you're going to do it, what it's going to take you know map that out so you're not in the middle like a little bit frustrated but it's definitely <laughs> something that's that's recommended and um you know I, I appreciate so much this opportunity and I would love to that uh, just to add another little note <laughs> if anybody's listening I would love to like you know get myself more involved with the, the people that work and bring this platform to give them like maybe a little bit insight I know I'm like a little drop in the bucket but to give them insight of what this looks like and therefore to make it better and make it more accessible and make it in a way like you know broaden how people could get you know community managers can get supported so that's something I would love to like that's something I work on also but yeah, that's, you know, you have sort of like the more of the picture, you know, you're not going to know everything, mm-hmm. um, the better, you know, your, your success, you know, will be, and it is a very rewarding thing and be prepared to do lots of stuff. <laughs> but uh, if that's, if that's like what you've done and that's like what your interest has been, um, it will, it will be good. It's, there's good. There's lots of good things in there. And lots of good things that we don't know yet. (laughs) There's lots of mysteries we haven't uncovered yet, but yeah, we're going to get there. So it's good stuff. Thank you so much for sharing this wonderful window into your world. Um, It's been really inspiring talking to you. It's it's been awesome uh, seeing your energy and enthusiasm. so thank you for shining that my way thank you to all of you who've watched all the way through this is quite a long video thank you for Mm -hmm. your time Uh, i will put all of the information into the links in the description have a fantastic day